Yes, people, you are not dreaming. I am doing a Team of the Week review at the end of April. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and to our brand new FIFA 21 video. This is Leo here bringing you another special Team of the Week player. And today, we're going to be looking at one of the more broken center backs in the entirety of Team of the Week in FIFA 21. And his name is Musa. Niakate, yes guys man, oh my goodness, who cares about team of the season, who cares about Mukiele, the main topic today is going to be Musa Niakate, and just look at those stats guys, and I just had to do a review, I've been busy the whole day, and that's why this review is kind of late, but it is better late than never, and that is the case with this Musa Niakate, I just had to see how good he is, and if he does play to those stats, because honestly, he's reminding me of a little baby Ferdinand, with those stats, he is 6'3", medium, medium, left footed, two star skill moves, three star weak foot. I did buy him for under 100k, guys, under 100k, and he has a lot of great links, man. In my team, he is currently playing right here. I did link him up to Mendy because I do have him untradeable, and he links up to icons, and importantly, my team of the year, Nor, so it is good for me. And if you have Mukiele, this card might be a great option for you. If you do not want to spend on like Upamecano headliners and etc. But onto the in-game stats and they look fantastic. Honestly, you have to go with the shadow on here. But I'm applying an anchor chemistry style because I do not have a shadow in the club. And I don't want to go buy one. I don't really care. I know he's going to be fantastic. And I'd rather have that aggression and strength maxed out. So he can be a full tank on the pitch. But the 85 pace does comprise of 75 acceleration and 93 sprint speed. You should be able to catch up to everybody that comes along his way and tries to get past them. We are gonna be playing in Division One, so definitely a really good test to see if he is foot champs quality onto the passing of 72. It is atrocious, 58 vision, it doesn't really matter guys. As long as he can get it out of trouble when my opponent is pressuring, that is all I ask from him. He does have okay short passing at 83 and okay long passing at 80. So GG there, onto the dribbling of 76. He does have an above average agility type, which is 77. I think that is fantastic for a center back. 63 balance, hopefully that is broken just like Baran, because I, be I believe Baran has horrible balance, but it feels like 99 to be honest. I'm so happy that he does have 86 reactions though, because that is a key stat in a center back. So GG there, 77 composure. Hopefully that does not affect them, especially towards the end of the game. And on to the defending, one of the highest stats on the card, 86. He does have 84 interceptions, 85 defensive awareness, and 86 standing tackle, combined with the 87 sliding tackle. He's going to be the new French wall. So move over, but Nia Kate has arrived. And lastly, the physical of 87 and why I do advise you put a shadow on him and it's because he does have 93 strength which is incredible 79 aggression 83 stamina and 84 jumping close out the physical department on niakate and lastly the player traits he is a solid player guys i'm so excited to try out this incredibly broken defender is he worth putting in your starting lineup or not is he worth guys is he worth the hype because he is the number one player on footbin right now and that's why i wanted to review him and see how good this car really is so let's get on to the review all right, guys, game number one for Nia Kate. I am playing him next to Bidich. And let's see, man. So how does that movement is good. Let's see the sprint speed right there. His acceleration is low, but dribbling nice. Guys, can we get an assist? Come on, Kunawero. The pass. Let's go. We got an assist. No, Banderisa ruined it. I mean, I kind of did not put any power on that. But that would have been the greatest and fastest assist in Foot Leo history. Let's give him the ball and see what he can do off a corner, though. Almost. Niakate! Ay, ay, ay. How do I miss that with a widow? That's the type of game I'm playing today, guys. Good stuff, Niakate. I'm sorry, my opponent has 85% possession right now. This is one of the most boring games I have ever played in my entire life. You saw the goal. There was a penalty and a BS goal in the first 10 minutes of the ball game. There's nothing much I can do with this gameplay. Definitely going to be playing another game. Good stuff, Niakate. I like it. Let's go.
Let's go. Great standing tackle right there. Good save. There's that balance right there falling over like he died. And ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Vamos. I guess you Ronaldo. Oof. That was pretty bad right there. Let's see if we can recover. Great stuff, man. Ah, I know the pass. The pass was horrible, but great. Oh, great awareness right there. My opponent's pressuring like his life depended on it. Great stuff right there. Another AI block from Niakate. Just reminded me of a baby Baran. Great stuff right there. I anticipated right there. Press circle. And he got that standing tackle. Ahora se viene Messi. No Baran, Baran, Baran. Vamos Niakate. There we go. Nice tackle, man. We have battle ourselves. Down three. Oh, vamos. Vamos, Mbappe. Let's go, Mbappe. No. I should have cross body it, but he had been moving the goalkeeper right there. That standing tackle from Niakate almost led to a goal. And we are short. a oh, man. Yes, I got a red card with Bittage. So, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just a dumb tackle by my end. Let's see. Let's see what's up. He's moving the goalkeeper crazy right now. And I took too long to talk. Nice, keeping up, keeps keeping up with Cristiano Ronaldo. And I was afraid to press the circle button because of a penalty, but good stuff, man. That's the pace and the agility, keeping up with Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, who's back? Back, back, back again. Yeah, yeah. Man, I cannot believe we won that second game after getting a red card with Bittich. But Niakate was able to hold it down in that defense. And that is a big reason why we came back and we won 3-2. What an exciting game. And a lot of uh, BS in uh, these two games that I did play. But during the week, usually the gameplay is pretty bad. And yeah, I can't really say anything more about that. So let's go straight into the pros. Number one, 93 sprint speed. Number two.